your girl your girl is trying you know everyone is trying at university like everyone is trying mutu mwena mungu kwa zama rothero kwa zama zuko tokonda zuko konda la mwena mungu nilona na makuwa ako barero it's just hectic Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, please make sure that you subscribe and notification bell and do the right thing. And if you're new, move on go and I go by Shalini Movex on this channel for reasons that I've already mentioned before. If you're interested in knowing, I named my channel Shalini Movex because I didn't want people to search my content and find Movex with the soapy content. So hence, I call myself Shalini Movex on this channel. You can always follow me on Instagram at Shalini.Movex. I'm just gonna put my handle here so that you see, um, you know, my content on Instagram. It's quite interesting, and if you have any other question with regards to the content i bring on youtube you can always dm me i respond um when i get time if i'm not responding on time please don't like you know lose faith in me i, I do get back to people this is that sometimes i get busy such a way that um you know it's it's, it's just busy to, to, to respond to dms we are going to the second semester and i remember i once shared a video on the five jobs i have and i was like i'm gonna talk about how that's gonna go when i get to second semester or before i get to second semester because i would have seen my results for the half year period or the first semester so yeah you know i'm gonna talk about that on this video and <clears throat> Your girl, your girl is trying, you know, everyone is trying at university, like, everyone is trying. Mutum when I'm more Kozama, Rotter Kozama, Zukoto, and the Zukonda, I'm when I'm no Nama Kua Ako Barero. It's just hectic, like, school wise, this year, name is very hectic. So, yeah, before, before further ado, let's just get on to the video. I have five jobs currently at UJ. Um, not at UJ only, I just have five jobs as a UJ third year law student. So that's obviously gonna be so challenging and surely you guys have been waiting to hear how my journey has been. And to be honest, it has been difficult and I kind of regretted why I got five jobs to begin with. So yeah, if you didn't know, um, I have I had five jobs I had because um, you know I quit some of the jobs so I had five jobs I was a tutor in English um, English 1c I was an influencer I'm still I'm still an influencer at UJ and thirdly I am a youtuber fourthly I own a business I own a thrift um, you know business on Instagram those who know who know those who don't know um, now you know um, so this job also is quite challenging because child I'm gonna also just you know talk about it further on this video and the fifth job that i had what is my fifth job oh i'm an instagram influencer so i do get brands to work with i am already like an influencer i'm influencing for urban circle i am the ambassador this year so in total i have five jobs and i'm a third year law student and if you know law many people when they describe law they obviously talk about how difficult and challenging it is so so this is what happened right in first semester so in first semester I don't know what where to begin because it's it's so embarrassing. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be as honest as possible so that like I'm helpful to other people because if I come out here and lie, other people are gonna go for five jobs while they're doing third year law and it's not gonna go well for them. So it's better for me to be like honest and open and tell you guys the truth. So in first semester in LLB third year at UJ, I had five models, right? Four of them were UA models, one was a semester model. Okay. Before you before you get scared, I passed all of the models, right? I passed my semester model, I passed all my four year models, and I'm going to second semester with them. But let's just focus on the results, right? If I were to put my results here, which I will not do because that's quite impressive, but if I were to put my first year results and my second year results and my third year results, you can honestly just tell that something is going on in the third year and something is not making sense because I found myself getting from your 80s and your 75s and your 70s to your 50s your bare minimum 60s you know it was just quite challenging for me so I would say my third year first semester it didn't really go well and I want to try change that and <laughs> yeah so when I got when I had these five jobs right remember they demand me and my schoolwork also demand me right so <clears throat> because of that should i say because of that because okay 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 okay, okay. i don't know how to how to say this <clears throat> i am a third year law student with five jobs with same habits from second year um i was doing stuff I was doing things that someone who doesn't have job like five jobs is doing. I was 
I was acting like I don't have these demands from my jobs and my schoolwork. I was, you know, like, I don't know how to put it. I, I knew that I had five jobs and five models to focus on, but I'd still do things that are supposed to be done by people who don't have five jobs and only have five models. So you'd find me going out still with these five, five things, um, you know, all on me. You'd find me wanting to go groove with my friend. You'd find me wanting to go chill with my friend. You'd find me wanting to do things that are supposed to be done by people who don't have jobs. So I wouldn't entirely put the blame on my jobs for the fact that I didn't do well in first semester. I'd rather say, personally, I was not ready to have five jobs and five models all on me. So because of this, because of this, ne? My point is because of this, because of all these things, the five jobs and the habits, like, you know, living like I don't have five jobs, contributed to me failing twice this year. So I wrote a test, law of contract, I failed, I got a 30 something. First time in university, I'm, I never thought I was gonna ever get a 30 something in anything at university because I always thought university is simple. And yes, university is simple. University is not difficult, guys. One thing about university is just do your part. And you'll pass if you don't do your part you'll fail you procrastinate you'll fail it's, it's just simple it's just simple rules so i got a 30 something and i thought i was gonna fill the model was i not depressed i was i was honestly depressed so the other model that i felt was law of property law of property is my favorite model everyone knows like i talk about i talk highly about law of property so when i was going to write the test right we were supposed to study from model one to model eight your girl studied from model one to model seven because she couldn't finish model eight because of what procrastinating i remember that week when i was supposed to study i went out with my friends and we went to like we didn't drink we just went out we just had pizzas we ate pizza and after eating pizza it was just eating pizza and then we came back it was like around 2 a.m you know next day we're going to write and i didn't finish everything and because i didn't finish everything the lecturer somehow knew that some people didn't do the last model so he bought 50 percent of the work was from the last model and this person 50 percent of the work was from model one to model seven which resulted in me failing because obviously i can't write it was out of 40 it was on paper out of 40 i can't write out of 20 and managed to pass because you know other questions were even difficult because they were, they were long questions but either way i failed so this year i failed two semester tests i felt so horrible i don't want to lie to anyone i felt so horrible um and instead of this experience or this incident um motivating me to do better it just made me lazier i just like whenever i, w I had to study for property oh no not for property it's property i did still study um for contract especially when i had to study for contract i would get lazy i'll just postpone it i was just procrastinate it so yeah things were just not going well by failing i don't mean i failed the entire model please don't get me wrong i am still doing law of contract i'm still doing law of property i did manage to pass at the end of the day at the end of the semester to pass the whole entire model in, in its entirety it's just that there were instances where i failed um a semester test and i'm not proud of those moments and i don't even know how come i'm sharing this with my subscribers but i want to be as honest as possible don't see me slaying on instagram don't see me looking key here and thinking everything is under control things are falling apart <laughs> things are falling apart yeah so that's that so because of this failing because of you know um pressure to deliver um you know because honestly this this experience of having five jobs especially english 1c made me realize how much i hate working for other people i honestly hate working for other people not that the english department was rude to me or anything they were so nice they are so welcoming i just don't like reporting to anyone having to do something under someone's shadow or having to be told that okay by the end of the week you should have finished marking this i i, I don't like that i like working in my pace i like doing you know things in my way so i just realized that maybe i'm not honestly ready for the corporate world as you guys put it so yeah and another thing that had happened is 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 you know prioritizing what i have to do 
more than what I like to do. Um, this I saw um, with my UJ influencing job because there we just um, randomly put in content and it's just random content right and sometimes because it's random content that you kind you kind of don't really feel you just feel somehow when you make it so um, I hate doing things that I don't like you know I hate to I, I hate doing things that I don't like so I found myself having to do stuff that I don't like with my um, UJ um, influencer job but either way i like the job it's good it's it's, it's it's i mean it's money but besides the money um i like the experience i like everyone i work with especially the three people i usually worked with in first semester so <clears throat> with that being said surely i'm rambling right because i'm sorry i'm just talking about a lot of things at the same time and you guys are just like what is he talking about so the whole purpose of this video is to tell you guys that if you want to get a job as a student right please act like you have a job don't act like someone who doesn't have a job and have studies because if you're going to be hanging out with people who don't work obviously they have enough time to be hanging out you know and studying later but you you have a job you also need to study at the end of the day you also you know you you you, you can't do everything me i was trying to do everything you can't do everything as someone who's employed and studying so choose your fighter you know choose your fighter it's either you're working and studying or you are partying and studying you can't do everything so that's all i can say and another thing um getting a job right getting a job as a student is good but it makes you realize how much you love money and it kind of it kind of makes you feel like school is less important and the parts um or the the, the things that are bringing in cash are the ones that matter um than your school work so if you if ever you get a job make sure that like you don't you don't fail to 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 to, to balance that because if you if you end up loving the job because it brings in money and forget about your course you're going to end up failing your course because you're not putting in you're not putting in energy on the cost so just don't forget the balance because as much as the current job is bringing in the money the cost that you literally chose is going to bring more money when you end up getting the degree so just don't forget that so because of me having these five jobs and not doing well at school i decided to end up leaving um you know my twitter job i'm no longer a twitter i quit <laughs> i'm not proud of quitting i don't like quitting and i'm not a quitter i like finishing stuff that i started but honestly i had to choose my fighter guys i i honestly want to do well in lb i want to find myself getting at least above 65 percent as my average so that i get to have choices so that i can do my articles so that i can you know um go to a law firm that is prestigious so that i can also if i want to do my llm which is masters you know i don't want to i don't want to be limited because my results don't you know don't fit in i want to have good results so that i can have options so that's why i left english i loved being an english tutor guys it's made me learn a lot of things i i could now speak in front of people like public speaking is not easy for me as much as i can speak in front of a camera i'm not good with speaking english in front of like a whole lot of faces but because of english i could i could i could then and now i can um you know speak in front of people loudly enough and so that they can hear me and share my knowledge um it was a wild experience honestly working with students is just another thing if you want to be a tutor honestly be ready be ready to be sick of people because people are gonna make you sick you know people are gonna make you sick but yeah all in all my students were so nice um they were so nice i never had an issue with anyone i was never reported to my to the lecturer the lecturer never had problems with me even when i wanted to leave she was like i'm um, leaving you know you are such a good tutor we've never had any complaints about you your students are doing well why are you leaving you know but i had to choose my fighter you know i had to choose my fighter so um because of you know that i i left english um tutoring um the money was good but hey guys and i also i also i'm also gonna limit buying stock for my business because also it's like a lot of work having to go to thrift coming back washing the clothes folding them posting them putting the prices modeling them tracking whether or not a, a customer had gotten their, their their stuff having to keep up with everything it's just a lot of work you know also i i'll, I'll just cut down maybe because this year i usually went with like 300 400 500 to buy stock now i'm thinking of cutting it down to 300 or less every time because child i don't want to 
I don't wanna I don't wanna bend myself you know when you start bending it just hurts. I don't wanna bend so um what other thing do, did I want to talk about on this video? Oh, we have a new series coming up. I am very excited for this one. I, I mean, it's going to challenge my shooting skills and my editing skills and my entertaining um, skills in its entirety because it's a whole new level of, I don't know, it's a whole new level of content and I want to grow with it and I want to invest in it. Um, yeah so it's coming and yeah it's gonna start in second semester second semester starting like in a day so expect a video weekend the coming weekend i'm gonna be posting my first ever series on fighting for my law degree it's very interesting and i'm sure you guys are gonna love it and i'm gonna have like different episodes i'm gonna have seasons and yeah if you guys love it and it's re receiving at least like at least one episode of the of of, of the of the series should have above ten thousand um views. If it's like that, then I'm gonna keep it going. But if it's all if it's like your 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 one thousand views, your two thousand views, I'm gonna be skeptical about continuing with it, right? But your response is all that matters. But I'm quite like you know um, what is the word? Excited. I'm quite excited for it. Um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys are gonna love it. And I'm also gonna do another content whereby I go attend I, I go attend classes with other students like a day in the life of a accounting student a day in the life of a meteorology student a day in the life of an accounting did I say accounting a day in the life of um, an education student right and I'm gonna go and attend classes like I'm an education student and show you guys how it is I feel like that's gonna be also an interesting content because you guys as much as you watch my youtube channels because you want to come to university not everyone wants to come and do law right other people want to do other things so if i expose how it feels like to do that i feel like it's just going to be more helpful so you and my channel is going to be more relatable so that's what's going to be happening on this channel second semester and yeah you guys watch ads please say because the money is not balancing there by adsense watch it so that your girl gets paid and what else i love you so much and this brings us to the end of the video does this video make sense it does i mean i told you i quit my job the lessons i had and yeah if you want to ask how to apply for a job whatever you can always dm me i'll answer that but if you want to know like if you want to know how to um you know apply for jobs and you want to know university jobs you can always drop a comment down below and i'm gonna do a video specifically on that so thank you guys bye and i was using a mic tell me if this mic was working if it was not working i'm gonna be pleased bye